Hey, Glenn Butler here from SIA, and thanks for coming. This is test number 36. Do links from social media site actually help your ranking? Let's get into it. All right, so what we're looking at here in particular was some uh, Pinterest and Google+. Plus. Uh, back then, Cora was actually finding correlations between uh, rankings and Google+, Plus for some keywords. It wasn't exclusive to all of them, but it was there a lot. Uh, I've, as you obviously, you know, by at the time of this test, Google Plus was alive and well and brand new and was actually working pretty good for, for backlink building. Uh, but now they've since killed it, which is kind of what Google does, right? They couldn't compete uh, as well with uh, Facebook. And honestly, I think it was more about change than it was anything else. And uh, frankly, I like a lot of the Google Plus features. I like the groups and stuff, but I just wasn't a fan of the profile system and the way that worked. Uh, but, you know, it's it's change. And so Google tried it. It didn't work. And now it's gone. But Pinterest is still there. And you can actually rank pages with Pinterest and do it all the time. Uh, you make a nice, unique image uh, for your posts. Uh, share it on Pinterest. And then that backlink is actually works pretty well. Uh, as well as brings in a lot of traffic. If you're using the infographics from the previous test on Pinterest, and it's an interesting infographic, you can get a lot of traffic. But you really got to test your markets. Not every market's going to be the same. My SEO site doesn't see anything from Pinterest, but I got a couple other websites that are nothing to do with marketing, but more to do with specific niches. And the traffic comes in just fine. As a matter of fact, it's my number one traffic source, which is awesome. Uh, so the test here is kind of what we expected. The, the pages did move. They were in one and two, and then the social media sites came in and took over. You're going to see that a lot happen when you're building uh, web pages and you're trying to use links from social media. The social media sites will take over the rankings for the web pages. And frankly, it's because you're just relying too much on that one social media link and you don't have other backlinks to support the vote that the social media link uh, is giving you. Uh, and typically what you want to do in that case is build other backlinks from different sources and flip those around so that your money site is number one and then your social media URL is number two. The goal you're looking for is to take over as much as the SERP as possible. And if all roads end in your shopping cart, then it doesn't matter if you're ranking a money page, a social media page, or web to you or whatever. As long as the customer can follow that journey and get to your actual the point of where the conversion is, that's the name. That's you're you're winning now at that point, right? So, but from a link, link building perspective, again, you can rank with these just by themselves. Uh, you can use them in tiers uh, and uh, boost them up so that they have more power. Just know that the social media site more than likely will outrank your website for a while until you build some other tier ones to your website, and it'll flip that over, and then you'll be just fine. There are segments of the community that say, oh, social media sites don't do you any good. That's such complete and utter crap, and it's a complete lack of understanding of the purpose of social media sites. One, link building. You get the benefit out of that. Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, um, not Instagram, uh, TikTok I haven't even played with, uh, Reddit for sure. You can get backlinks out of this. So there's one benefit. The second benefit is promoting if you write a great piece of content, and you know all those people that profess high quality content, that's how you get backlinks. You create high quality content. Well, Mr. Wizard, how do they find the, that high quality content in the first place? And frankly, it's through your promotion efforts, your social media, your web two net networks, your syndication networks, your press releases, all of those things tell the world, hey, I have this piece of content, and that's how you get the ball rolling in SEO and how you get the ball rolling in natural link building. Um, so uh, those links do count promotional and for backlinks. And finally, the third is traffic. Uh, most of those sites, especially if you have a nice, good audience over there, and then I'm not talking like millions of people, you can have 100 followers, and if 50% of them actually go to your website every time you post, then that's a win for you. It's a traffic win. You've captured that audience and you've got them back into your messaging. That's the goal. And you can do that with multiple SEO or uh, social media sites and be just fine. So traffic, backlinks, and links, or traffic, backlinks, and promotion. And finally, uh, I just want to keep you um, kind of in, keep this in mind. 
don't try to be everywhere for everything. You're just not going to happen. You're not going to be on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, um, Pinterest, Reddit, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. You're never going to be able to have the time to do all those things. Pick a couple and, and leverage those. For me, for my agency, I use Facebook and we use Twitter sometimes. Uh, and then I have access to some free Slack groups that are kind of social media stuff for me. Uh, and, and obviously... YouTube. YouTube is a good uh, social media channel, and those links count. So, um, you know, just pick your favorites and then go from there. Add more as you deem necessary, but if you, if you know, like three or four of them are getting you all the traffic and links and promotion that you need, then stick with those. There's no sense in going out and building a whole bunch of them for nothing, for no reason, other than the initial profile backlink. There is, a, <laughs> other than that. Um, there's no sense in trying to maintain a presence on all of those. All right. I hope test number 36 is useful for you. Uh, you get some insights out of it. Uh, what I would do if I was, you know, taking this information is really, I just, you know, start using the Pinterest for sure. Uh, and start thinking about how am I going to build more tier ones to get my site over the Pinterest. Uh, and typically that's really just, uh, you know, a couple of other backlinks and then you'll be okay. All right. Thanks for watching hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button we'll see you on the next one